Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9. So, I'm gonna give Greg a little bit of a rest for today. Uh, yeah, I've decided that I want to go do something else for a bit. So, what are we gonna do? Uh, well, first off, uh, I'm gonna talk about the updates that have happened. So, I think between this episode and the last episode, there was two updates. So nature list nature list nature realist how do i oh add a sorry Na add nature this one yeah i forgot about this mod this mod's awesome oh crap is this the one that adds the uh the little fly i hope it isn't that was so annoying that stupid fly flying about yeah, um, that, that one's in here, so it just adds like a bunch of like different mobs for us to, like you can get a bass, cooked bass and everything. It's kind of cool, bug net, and you can capture butterflies and stuff. It's just neat, very neat. Kill some duck as well. Uh, so that one's in here. So is Style Colonies, but it doesn't come up with anything. All Style Colonies does, I think it just adds like extra styles to Mine Colonies, but... We have had to disable mine colonies on the server. You guys know this, right? And we disabled it because, uh, well, you know, if people are having big old mine colonies around the place and they've got like 50 people all trying to walk around their mine colonies, generating, you know, all lists. Imagine there's like 15 people online with 50 people in their colonies each. That's a lot of processing that needs to happen right there. So we did disable it. I think at some point, if we can figure out how, we might have like a mine colony server because I absolutely love mine colonies. Uh, all the wizard gear. Wizard gear, this stuff looks awesome. So we've got like all the modium mage hat and stuff. How do you make this? So... This is from Iron Spells and Spellbooks, and then you can, yeah, use all the modium on it, and you get all of this sort of stuff, and then it goes all the way up to Unobtainium, which is insane. It looks so good. I really want to, I wanted to get this. <gasps> Wait, there's a legendary spellbook. Oh my goodness, I need to do this. Wait, why, why can you not upgrade it even further? Oh, you can. Right, we're doing that right now. So... Uh, smithing template. Let's get one of each of them. And I think it's in my backpack. Yeah, there it is. So I'm so excited to do this. I don't know why. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. How much? How much damage does this now do? Is that what? What did that exactly do? Uh, cooldown reduction and cast reduction. Oh, that is so cool. It doesn't take any... What is going on? This one doesn't take any... Um... Mana cost is... 28, but it doesn't take any mana from us. Maybe it does if we attack something. Anyway, that's, that's a really cool update. I like that. Um... And then there was like a, a config added to hyperboxes, but we again we've disabled hyperboxes. It created a brand new world for each, like as in a brand new world file for each hyperbox. Which um, I know compact machines. Obviously, I'm gonna have to like compare the two mods, hyperbox compact machines. But compact machines, what compact machines did was it had one new dimension. And then it would have one new file, and then it would just like place you in an indestructible box in one of those areas of the dimension, right? Uh, but it would all be in the same dimension, and it would be like far enough away that radiation and stuff would not reach the other compact machine that's in there. So anyway, hyperboxes we've disabled. So uh, the other things that have been added, everything is copper. Every... Everything is copper. Okay. That looks like 
We've just added a bunch of like coppery stuff. Okay. Uh, okay, like like ladders and uh, you got like copper swords and gear and stuff. Copper hoppers, interesting. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, and you get a copper anvil. <laughs> oh, fair play. I wonder if they just work the same as a regular anvil. Most likely, right? Copper bars. Copper ladders. Flipping egg. Okay, I like that mod. That looks kind of cool. Um, What was the other one? No startup message, please. I don't know what that one does. It's probably something to do with the server, if I'm honest. But yeah, I had a plan for today. And... um. I've got some torches on me. I think what I'm going to do. Oh, okay. Let's go right here. I'm going to like just wait about on this bedrock for a bit. I might have to go a bit further down. Because I did try this before and it would not like teleport me away. But this is how you get to the void. And I want to go to the void. Just so it's a bit different, isn't it? It's not great tech. There we go. Okay, sounds like it's taking me there. I've got loads of crap on my screen. Oh, okay, it's gonna take me there, I think. This is an interesting teleport animation, I must admit. <laughs> oh, and... Are we gone? I like that it took away the minimap, but it didn't take away, like, the where it says Deep Slate right there. I take it we just wait until we get teleported. Okay, I put down a torch, and I still can't see anything. So, ah, here we go. Joining world. Bedrock. Uh Okay, there we go. We're in a big old bedrock area. Can I not fly here? Okay, good. No fly zone doesn't work here, that's good to know. Voidscape. Ah, so I was um I was warned by people not to eat the fruit here. So we might eat this, but we'll eat it. We'll eat it in uh, the overworld. Right. What are we doing here? I suppose um, I'm trying to look for. What is that right there? That might be what we're looking for. Anti rock. Okay, we can't mine it. I, I think we're looking for the ore for this. Is that water? Yeah. Now. The question is, is this thing right here supposed to be here or not? Oh, it's fish. They're kind of all see-through. That's that's kind of um kind of weird. Feels odd. Right, is it that we're trying to get up from here or oh wow, regular ores. Okay. Not gonna lie, wasn't expecting regular ores to be here. I don't exactly know where this is, if I'm honest. I'm just going to go up. What the hell is this stuff? Null. Null. Love it. I don't know if it's supposed to be null. It looks like we can't break it. Whatever it is. Interesting. What about this stuff? This looks kind of cool. Null as well. Right, I'm going to have a look around, and fingers crossed, uh, we find some stuff? What the hell is that? Right there, it's got a big hammer. Oh, I didn't mean to insta-kill him. Did you find those in the, the nulls? Is that what we're calling this, the nulls? Null servant. I don't know what these things are giving me, but... Okay. 
Wow, okay. Is this an actual cloud? Can we get in the cloud and... Is it bad that we're in a cloud right now? You can see it, like, the actual cloud is right there. And, and everything, like... I don't know how you get rid of it. Everything's quite loud. Um, I did pick up a few bits over here. Oh my goodness, let's try and get away from all of these. Okay, there's a lot of them. I did try and pick up a few bits, as I said, because... Well, purple is Sativa's colour. I bet he's already been here, but if he's not, I want to try and pick up as much purple stuff as I can, because I know Sativa might, might you know, enjoy it. Alright, you didn't have to try and lightning me. Okay, I still don't know how any of these guys, like, how any of this works. I should probably look up a guide for this, if I'm honest. I have literally no idea. Uh, but it's quite fun just flying around and, like, seeing things. Only annoying thing is that thunder. There's a lot of thunder, <laughs> if I'm honest. So it's quite loud, but other than that, for me, it's a pain because it's quite loud. But for you guys, I suppose you could just mute it. What the heck is this void stone thing or anti-rock? Can we do something about that? That is a question and a half right there. Voidic diffuser. No idea what that means. Uh, liquefier. I'm trying to get some of these voidic crystals. Right, how do we get these? No idea. It doesn't really say. You'd guess there'd be some ore for it. At void. Voidic crystals. I did get some of this earlier. Ethereal fruit. And some essence. It doesn't really say though, does it? Nothing in here kind of says where you get that from. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, no idea, if I'm honest. Ickle. And then how do you get this? Uh, okay, so the highest one you can get to is this, I'd say. Oh no, there's one above that by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, highest one you can get to is this, the Astral Sword. It does 13 attack damage. And has 5 Voidic damage. Interesting. No idea what that does, if I'm honest. Might be kind of cool to get this armor though. Um, the only issue is, I have no idea where to get any of the ores, right? And I would need to get, like, the Voidic Smithing, at least one. And then loads of these, uh, Voidic Crystals. I don't have any of those, do I? I do not. I have no idea. I have no... How do you get back from this place? Do you have to, like, sit on top? Or sit in some of this? Oh, there's a dude there. Right, um, this looks a bit interesting. I don't know if this has got... Oh, there you go. Strange... Oh. <laughs> I was assuming that would be how you get the ore, because I've not seen any... Okay, what is strange ore then? Strange... Ore, that gets us a strange pearl? What does that do? To be completely honest, there's not much on this mod. Uh, I did try and look it up, and I can't find much. This is brand new, though. I kind of love that it's brand new. Hey, return to send. I haven't even done return to sender yet. You're kidding me. Wait, I'm just going to lob all of this stuff away. I love the fact that I've got this this book now. It looks so good. Um, I don't, don't know what to do. Where where do you get all of this? I, I love that the Aether is in this. Like I can shoot a couple of sheep and everything, but... What the heck is that? Oh, it's one of those, those sheepy things. Hello, mate. Oh, this is all the stuff from the Aether. I love it. I 
I kind of feel bad for doing this, but do we need this, like, essence? Ethereal essence? Oh, hello. Okay. Why did I get teleported back here? Why have I got, like, barely any health? Very odd. <laughs> I am back at my base, right? Okay, very strange. Uh, yeah, those are the ones. Uh, Voidic crystals, these fill. Phil, I take that as a no, lol. Oh, okay, well, Frost has got some. I'll, I'll go and uh, talk to Frost, see what Frost says about getting those uh, those crystals. I don't know how this works, if I'm honest. Do we get the crystals first, and then we, uh, we like, upgrade from there to... Oh, it looks like you get a tendril next. And then you corrupt your Voidic Sword. And then from there, you add one of these purified chunk things. And then you get, like, the, yeah. So it looks like you just upgrade all the way. I'd love to get the highest tier. That'd be so good. Might not, all, might not get it all in one episode, right? I still got to go back to the Aether, if I'm honest. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? Cracked Astral Stone, okay. Looks like this is what I need, the Voidic Crystal Ore. So I'm going to, I don't know why it teleported me back, but um, I'm going to go and, okay. I just flew around till I found some and then mined it. They were, uh, they show up pretty easy since they're kind of glowy. Okie dokie, that's good to know. I obviously didn't give it enough time. Oh, and whilst I'm there. Uh, waystone. I'm going to slap a waystone down so I can get myself back if needed. And I don't have to stand here for flipping ages. I also wanted to try out what this fruit does, so I'm just going to eat it, see what happens. Nothing. Good. <laughs> uh, before I go, alright, before I go, I'm going to test out the other fruit that I got. That's void. So I got one, two, and three. And let's see what these do. So. I think that one just fed me all the way up. Is that what that one did? I don't know. Odd. Okay. Well, we'll go one more time. Okay. Nothing happened. We just managed to eat three new items. That's pretty good. Aha. Aha. Uh -huh. I did put a um a waystone down by the way because it was annoying. Did that do it? <gasps> That's how you do it. Okay. So I'm I'm like right underneath and I'm just flying around and you can see it underneath. These things, these flowers really caught me out at first, but now I know to just go straight underneath, it's fine. Okie dokie, I think I found some what's that? Fleshy ore. That should be the ick ore. But for some reason I can't mine anything. Might be because I need the stuff from uh, Voidscape to mine the stuff from Voidscape. I, I'm not entirely sure. I am using the digital miner uh, because I remembered that I'd, you, I'd made one because reasons. I think I made it for the quest, right? I think it was in one of the mechanism quests. Let's have a look. Yeah, we needed it for that. So I was like, you know what, let's lob it down see see what this can do. And if we have a look at the config, I just put mod ID of Voidscape. I tried using the tag, but it didn't flip in work, did it? Void. Void crystal. I used the ore at first and it didn't work. I even put it here. It doesn't work. Save. No tag. Last thing I did try is I typed in Voidscape with that colon and then void it crystal ore. Didn't work. I even tried Voidscape. Voided crystal didn't work. It's flipping hard to find these things now. Actually, now, I've I've found two underneath, didn't I? For a little bit. Oh, this keeps its inventory, doesn't it? Okay. I mean, technically, we could just leave it and let it do its thing. Ah, oh, fine. I'll put a waystone next to this so I know where it is. Waystone. Stick that just here. Uh, minor. Why not? There we go. Um, yeah, I was underneath and I found those two, and I got very cocky. Void 
and void crystals. So I found two void crystals and I was like, ah, we've done it. We've actually found the void crystals. This is how it's done. And then I haven't found any more since. So I was going to go underneath. This looks like um, where everything stops. I think everything under this is technically void. Uh, but I can't... <laughs> As I said, I cannot for the life of me find any more of this void stone or void crystal. It's kind of maddening, really. Like, there's got to be something to do with these um, anti-rocks, right? And I want to figure out what. But I haven't got there yet, so I'm still looking for these flipping void stones. Oh my goodness. I was literally, like, I'm right there. Is there some over there as well? No. I'm right here, and there's some void stones right here. <laughs> Kidding me. That just gave us five. Amazing. Or three more. I just only gave us one. That's annoying. Right. Okay. Well, uh, we know where to look now, I suppose. No, it's still hard. It's still difficult to find. I'm putting that out there. Kind of difficult to find. Uh... Yeah, I'm still just going to fly around and try and find some more of this. I, I think what we'll, yeah, what we'll end up doing is uh, getting a pickaxe and then seeing if that works. Seeing if that works with everything. I think it might. I hope it does. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> that just got me like a load of voidic crystals. Okay, thank you very much. Let's do die art mond. And then I can use this with one of these. Yeah, I can use this with one of these in a smithing table with a netherite pickaxe. Have I got any netherite pickaxes? I've got one. All right, I'll, I'll use a regular one for now. And then we need a smithing. Smithing table, and we can use one of these. I really like these smithing tables on a stick. A really good idea. Okay, avoid it, crystal pickaxe. And then, how do we upgrade this one? We need to get this purified stuff. And if we have a look at that, I don't want to say it because otherwise I'll uh, titanite. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> okay, it looks like we get it in the regular ore. Ah, oh, we've already got some titanite chunks. Okay, what do we do with the chunks? I don't know how you purify this. And I don't know how you get the Ica spellbook either. But I'm kind of curious. This was a really good idea. Overworld flesh. We got some ethereal fruits as well. I might have to eat one of these just for science. Uh oh. Uh, what did that just do to me? Why am I invisible? That's odd. Um, <laughs> fine. That's super weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What does corrupted pawn mean? I'm guessing that's like out of chess, right? The corrupted pawn. Is that me? Okay, there's something over in this direction. Ah, uh, uh. Oh, okay. That one just took me back. Fine. You know what we can do? We can go back to our miner. Just like that. I scared the poop out of me, I must admit. Right. Anyway, that's getting us some more of these. <laughs> Voidic crystals. What I did, again, if you just want to see what I, I set this to. Uh, I went to a mod. I'll tell you what, let's just stop this. So I went here, I went mod ID, and then I dragged over, like, you can drag over anything, I think. Like, like this? Maybe not? Wait. Void? Okay, that didn't work. Why is it not working now, then? Ah, there you go. Drag anything over to here, and then it just says ID voidscape. And then you just set this one to radius of 32, because I think that's the highest it can go. 
minimum of zero so that's how low it goes into the ground and maximum of 256 and then I don't put it on inverse mode because I can't remember what that one does but there we go, we'll just start that up and we get like a bunch of stuff and I'm going to lob all of this stuff away I still don't know what these um these these chunks do I guess there's probably a thing for it but we need this purified stuff right me and frost are just like trying to figure out how to do everything if i'm honest oh my goodness there's some more up here okay we'll have that um if you do come across some of this tight titanite titanite there we go thank you if you come across any of this then uh you're gonna have to use the voidic you know this thing you're gonna have to use the voidic crystal for this um what i'm looking for now i swear there was some around here somewhere is it over here oh there it is yeah so what we have to do to purify this titanic chunk is i think we can use it on a null servant so you right click it and now it's a titanic servant and then you kill it and then you should get some pure stuff out of it. So I'm just going to do this with like a bunch of these. And there you go. We got some purified. Oh, I love it. It's really difficult to see. I don't know if it's shaders. Alright. Calm down. It might just be shaders. What the heck? I right, one of those. Thank you. I'm going to hop around and try and find some more. Alright. going to turn shaders off. See what happens. I bet it still looks super, super dark. <gasps> no, that's what they look like with... Uh... Okay, I love that. And now they're, they're sort of green. Oh, that's super cool. Wow, this place is super dark without shaders. All right, let's put shaders back on because... Uh, otherwise it feels weird. Okay, Frost just popped over and he gave me a... Where is it? It's this charm here. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Maybe it goes not in there. Not in the cosmetic. What am I doing? Oh, this is forbidden and arcana. What am I thinking of? Am I skins? Okay. Right. Sorry. Um, it probably goes in here somewhere, right? I bet there's a thing for it. But basically, it gives you like a little outline of any baddies nearby and any goodies. That is a lot of thunder. What the actual heck? Yeah, there's a load of goodies around here. And there's a voidy dude right there. Oh. Does it work? Void wraiths. Okay. So you can't... You can't do it on a void wraith. Okay. I'm just going to kill him then. He gives me these charred bones anyway. But look. Even blue. Even blue right there. Ooh, I'm having that. Thank you. Right. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, to my, my miner because I feel like we need to get more and more of this. Although, to be fair, I think we're done now, aren't we? Can't we just, like, upgrade the pickaxe even more from here? Uh, I do need to go find my miner though. I don't know where it is. Ah, oh, there it is. It's right there. Cool. Right, there we go. Even though it's quite loud out. Um, we've now got the... Titanic pick. Pickaxe. Lovely. And now, I'm guessing we can use this. Uh, there's some more right there. Do, am I just missing this stuff? Is that a thing? Is it that it just spawns in? If you're around for a certain amount of time. That's probably what it is. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? So. Oh yeah. I got some quests out of this. Nice. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I think at Void. Voidscape. There it is. So after this it's the tendrils. And I don't know where you get the tendrils. I'll look that up. Never mind. It looks like it's the crystallized ichor. I haven't got any of that yet, but didn't we see some before? I 
able to pick up all of these. We saw some, I think, in this area. And I think it must just spawn in. Like, all these ores and stuff must spawn in as you're in the area for long enough. Right, there we go. I found us some. Might give it to us. Oh, that gives us the overworld flesh junk. Okay, that's how you get the Ica. Ah, love it. Okay, we can do that then. One, two, three. Little banana -y things. Love it. And then I'm guessing I use another one of these templates. Smithing templates. Like that? No? How do we use this then? Oh, poo. Maybe it's not that. Crystallize Ica is what we need. Oh, do we use this on, on the bad dudes? Does that turn them into crystallized dudes? That is a piglin. Okay, a pig man. Is this a void dude? There's a wooden skeleton. Interesting. Void servant. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, I don't know what happened, but he died in the end. He was just there for ages, like, doing stuff. And then suddenly, he died. So, all good. We got our crystallized. So, now we can use this, this, this. Get ourselves the Ica pickaxe. And then, after that one, we need to get this astral crystal, which comes from the strange pearl. Okie dokie. Right, let's, let's go find an end... Must be an end one around here somewhere. And oh, there you go, there's the end one. I think we just do what we did on the other ones, which is, well, the other one. Just gonna mine around in here for a while. Oh, hello, I just got some voided crystals, love it. Aha, here we go, and then I can mine this. that give us a strange pearl. Strange pearls don't do anything, but we can just add this to a null dude. Is that an old dude? An old servant? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do anything to him. Ooh, this is interesting. I like that. So, throw a strange pearl at an end crystal. That's what you need to do. And then it breaks it. Just stick it there. Yeah, there we go. And... Eh. Hey, there we go. And now, do I use this astral shard? Uh, it doesn't say... Ah, we use the Astral Shard on a Null Servant. Oh, I quite like this like little mechanic. It's pretty good. Is that not it? Is that not how you do it? Okay. What do we do then? Oh my goodness. These um, advancements are the best. Okay. I need to find an anti-rock. I knew those anti-rocks would come in. Come in clutch at some point. Yeah, this is what we do. We put... Oh, there we go. There's a few over here. I think we right click this. And then do we mine it with this? I don't know. That's the question. That's not what I wanted to do. It will be in advancements. Uh, on an anti and break it after the anti bolt strikes it. Right, by the looks of it. Right, I got another one. Um. You can see that one's gone now. It just takes a little bit of time. And then you can mine it with the Ica pickaxe. So I just did that. And I do have an essence. So I'm just going to get a second one just because it was pain. Um, I mined up, where is it? I mined up the essence that we found over here. Every time I see void crystals, I'm just going to mine them. Or try to mine them. This one is not letting me mine <laughs> for some reason. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, you just need to wait a while for this one. And it turns into, if you do at void, right? Turns into this looking ore. Crystal, or, or the cracked astral rock. Unfortunately, if you try and call anything in your Minecraft mod astral something, every time you try to Google for it, you can't, can you? Because of Astral Sorcery. Because <laughs> everyone loved Astral Sorcery. Which is weird, because I did not particularly like Astral, and I'm not sure why. I think it was one of those Marmite things that like we talked about 
yesterday, a bit like Greg. Bruh. Okay, this is taking too long. Um, my health is going all the way down as well. What I'm going to do is, if I do, is it N? Yeah. I'm going to do a new waypoint here and just be like, void, uh, crystally thingy, my bob. There we go. And I'll put it as, yeah, that's a good pinky colour, right? And that way I can come back to this whenever I want and it'll be there. I hope. Right, uh, we need to go find one of those null servant thingies. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's some up here. Null servant. Boing! Astral servant. Eh. Eh. Okay. He's just invulnerable now for a little while. I don't exactly know what these things are, if I'm honest, but... Okay. <laughs> Where is this? Okay, let's do... There you go. That kind of helps. I like being a fire mage. Fire breath is on cooldown. No, it isn't. Fire! Do I have to rebound them back into themselves? Is that what this one is? Aha! Here we go. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Sweet. And now we can upgrade this. So, okay, we don't have any of those upgrades again, but that's fine because we can do one of these. Uh, I'm just going to do it from here. Easy. Probably need another one later, so that's fine. And then... Noise! Astral pickaxe. What does this turn into? Oh. Poop. I think that's the last one. Cool, we got the Astral Pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to do that. Just to show off to Frost. <laughs> My health is proper low now, though. I should probably um, get out of here. Uh, right. Now, that was kind of fun. I like that. I liked uh, going off and exploring a new dimension, right? Uh, I still think we need to go through all of the spell tomes and stuff. And I really kind of want to get all of the gear, because the gear looks insane. Like this void, all the corrupt stuff. Even the Ikor stuff looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, I'd love this. Can you, can you like, see it on your person without actually having it? Oh, it doesn't look like it. That's a poo. Okay, well, that is, by the looks of it, I need to use, yeah, a load of netherite, and then I can upgrade from there. There's even a shield. What? That's, that's so cool. And you can upgrade the shield. Oh, no, there's only one type of shield. That's fair. Right. I am probably... I'm probably going to call it there today. Uh, yeah, I might try and get some... I like the, the uh, titanite. The tight... Titanite, that stuff. I like this looking gear. I might get the Ikor gear as well. Probably do that between episodes. Um, between episodes, I will be doing more Greg. And uh, it was around at this time that I started my other series. So I started a Aeropolis or Aeropolis uh, series as well. And I am going to be running this series and the Aeropolis series at the same time. I I did see a a little comment from someone earlier saying like ah oh, rip this series the the you know the ATM series but no I'm still I'm still doing this I'm just uh, I'm gonna do some Greg off camera and we're gonna be exploring other bits especially as they keep adding some new stuff which is awesome anyway I'm gonna call it there so thank you for watching thanks for joining and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, yeah, I just dropped off like a big.
uh, backpack full of uh, the stuff from uh, the Void, Voidic dimension to Sativa. And he was just playing around with them. It's pretty cool. Purple. Purple is Sativa's color, right? 